What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we're going over my meteor speeds for Tal Rasha. We just did our T16, so make sure to check out that video, guys, if you want to see a T16 variant for Tal Rasha's. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the Tal Rasha's abilities. Everybody should know this. We are rocking. Um, it's the best build in the game as far as power and just overall just capabilities. So, But you are going to get the all resist from all four elements. You're going to do increased damage for eight seconds with all of the stacks of elemental damage, which is going to be done through our meteors. Uh, so make sure you have the five of the six pieces here. Now, what I've combined it with, of course, is the Ogduls for even more damage, especially against elites and damage reduction, which is fantastic. We have the Squirts Necklace for double damage, and then we have paired it up with COE and Stone of Jordan for just maximum elemental. You have the Stone of Jordan, which is going to uh, put the highest elementals, which we have on Lightning for all of our elements, which is fantastic. And then COE, of course, extra damage through all of its rotation, which is gonna be all of them, except for Holy and Poison and Physical. So almost all of them, I stand corrected. Um, but yeah, the build is very, very strong. And then of course, here's where the changes lie. Okay, originally I was running Grand Vizier in here, and then I rocked the Smoldering Core in here. And I've seen this kind of, these, these two variants popping around a lot and from my t16 video i even tried it with the cosmic strand just to have more teleport um but i found that even with the cooldown it didn't really help to have aether walker in that so i tried it with these two aether walker and cosmic strand as my main two but i just didn't feel the damage so plus um with this build we are also not rocking the halo of karini so we don't get the added damage reduction so just besides what we would get from Talrashes, we needed that extra bit because guys, wizards are super squishy. So I've been seeing this going around, especially on the uh, leaderboards here for uh, Talrashes, which is just kind of crazy um, for speeds. So um, it's kind of unique in a way because you get the explosive blast chain reaction and then you get the damage reduction so you get damage reduction increased up to 20 percent for six seconds stacked up to four times which is 80 percent extra damage reduction which would be equivalent to a halo of karini a maxed out one but then the difference here is we have engine which allows us to spam teleport and then spam explosive blast and diamond skin endlessly to just chain all of our meteors and just have ultimate damage reduction. So those are the two new additions. If people have been seeing those go around. I'm gonna showcase why it's absolutely insane. So we have both of those. And then our gems are Bane of the Trapped as well as Zaya Zone of Vengeance and Bane of the Powerful. Of course, we have Grand Vizier in here for the arcane power cost reduction and increased damage. Remember that the, um, uh, damage reduction you want to put this in here which is great and the mempho of twilight the shower rune only applies to the manual cast does not apply to the auto cast but you do get the 400 percent increased damage on the auto cast meteors which is why we run this and of course ring of royal grandeur to pair these two um sets together now in our skills and passives we have ice armor frozen storm which gives us a storm here which you'll see pop around right so that way it casts our are cold of course thunder crash uh for lightning teleport calamity which gives us the wave of force for arcane and then explosive blast chain reaction is going to give us our fire our fire not only our fire damage but our fire meteor which is great and give us that damage reduction and then diamond skin prism for reduced costs because we're going to be spamming these three non-stop and then of course uh familiar spark flint for even more now you could swap this out because we have explosive chain reaction in reality what you could do is we have cold lightning arcane and fire you could swap this out for magic weapon and just do conduit again to keep those stacks up which is just fine otherwise you can do familiar for even more damage totally up to you i'm gonna rock the um magic weapon for this showcase and then in our passives, we have Illusionist for even more move speed, which in reality, we probably don't need, but I like it in the beginning because we have to find an elite pack. We're gonna be just chaining elites nonstop, but this is really nice. Galvanizing Ward for more shield for uh, protection. 
Audacity for even more damage, and then Elemental Exposure. Now, if you don't want to rock Illusionist, guys, you could always do Power Hungry if you really wanted to. Dominance is just fine for another shield. Unables are Unstable Anomaly for a free life. You could also do Blur to reduce damage. So you have some options here. Um, I'm just gonna rock the Illusionist because when I teleport, I wanna be able to have movement speed when I'm running around. So that's the build, guys. So let's go over. We're gonna do a GR90. You can, obviously with Tal Rosh's, you can go way higher, but we always do GR90s as our baseline for these videos, just so you can see the speeds. Um, so this is how this is gonna work. We're gonna go in, we're gonna pop Ice Armor, Deflection. Those are gonna be up for 10 minutes. You never have to cast them again. Then what we're gonna do is manually cast Thunder Crash at the start, and then we're gonna teleport in with Explosive Chain re uh, Reaction, and we're just gonna spam these three. In Excuse me, you guys are going to see why the build is just so insane. Okay. So we, we got that. We forgot to teleport in. Let's not die. Get our... We're looking for an elite pack. We need an elite pack really bad. This isn't a bad map, but we need an elite pack really bad. And I'm not finding one. This is not good. Oh, there it goes. There, there we go. Elite pack. Let's go. So after we kill our first elite pack... Then we just, we just spam stuff and just dash around. That's it. This is all you got to do. You just dash around to each elite pack. You can manually cast uh, Thunder Crash if you really want, but you don't have to. You just, you, just, you just spam, guys. It's that easy. You just spam those three. Explosive Blast. You spam uh, Diamond Skin. And then you spam uh, Explosive Blast and, de and Teleport. And you just dash around. I mean, the build is is absolutely insane. And this is speeds. And because of Ingium, you just get to do it for free. You get to do it for free. <laughs> You're just... The build is so stupid. It's so dumb. It's just so dumb. I mean... You want to make sure that you're just finding a leap pack after a leap pack, though. See, we got a little lull here because we don't have another leap pack yet. But trust, believe, we will find one. Maybe, I'm not sure. Guess not. <laughs> and then with the Rift Guardian, you just spam before he even spawns and they're dead. The build is crazy with the with the right gear augmented and then being able to just level up your gems we have a 50 a 50 and a 70 on my build guys it's absolutely insane i have one ancient item we have nothing augmented and you're doing sub two minutes a lot of the times it's sub one minute and a half with this um, on grs especially if you can chain a lot of elite packs together so this build just absolutely slaps but the one negative to it is you may need to make sure that you're elite farming. But as soon as you hit that first elite, you just teleport and let your meteors do the rest, guys. So it is a little different. I do really, really like it. Now, I, I have tested it with Aether Walker and Cosmic Strand. But this is just better and it deals way more damage. So if you guys didn't try to enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like i'm talking so fast uh, and if you're new here be sure to subscribe guys don't forget we stream every monday wednesday friday here on youtube so make sure to check out uh the channel and stream and join the community there uh if you have been playing tal rosh's it's the best build in the game it's the strongest i mean people are doing people are doing uh you know 150s in three minutes with Tal Rosh's. It's absolutely insane. So if you want a Paragon farm, you can definitely use this or change it just slightly for the, the pushing variant. But it is insane, guys. So make sure to get out there. Drop some meteors. This is probably my new favorite build. God DH has its uh, has a run for its money right now. So, But as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.